Hey, is it bedtime yet? If you're new here, hi, I'm Jody. I'm creating the life that I want and deserve and healing from tough times. I'm helping others to do the same by sharing my story. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, I hope you will and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. Today's video is about my relaxing evening routine. Now, for the majority of my life, I have had very, very unrelaxing, stressful evenings, which then would cause the following day to be very difficult because when you don't have enough sleep, you don't have the ability to really effectively manage stress. So on this healing journey and in creating the life that I want, I have realized how critically important my evenings are to managing stress, to being healthy, to taking good care of myself, which is my only job in life. So I have developed an evening routine that is very relaxing and works for me, and I thought that I would share it with you. So my evening begins when I get home from work. Uh, the first thing that I do is feed Rocco and Larry dinner. Rocco is my 13, almost 14 year old dog and best buddy. And Larry is my 10 year old furball Persian cat. And I love both of them very much. So they eat dinner before me. And then I generally have leftovers from lunch if I went out to lunch or something that I prepared over the weekend or because it makes me feel like I'm doing an okay job with taking care of myself, I will have organic vegan frozen dinners. Or my favorite of late is cheese with a side of baked potato and frozen vegetables. So then after dinner, I if I'm not already in my pajamas, I will get into my pajamas and then I will go to the couch and I will sit and get caught up on the news and social media. Sometimes I watch the TV news too. And then after I feel like I'm officially caught up, then I spend some time hanging out with Rocco and Larry and playing with them. The non-winter months in Michigan, I take Rocco for a walk and I might do some exercise, some kind of fitness outside, but in the winter and in full transparency, I'm just not doing a great job of exercising inside the way that I should, but this is all I can manage right now. And this is kind of embarrassing, but what the heck. If I'm feeling really, really stressed, I have a solo dance party. Like I just turn on dance music, usually like 80s or 90s, like ridiculous music, and I just dance. And for me, that is a huge stress reliever, more than yoga and meditation or anything else like that has provided to me. Then I sit down and write down the five things I have to get done the next day. Like the day can't end unless I have those five things done. Now you would think that this would cause stress and anxiety because thinking of what you have to do the next day is not exactly relaxing. But for me, it helps reassure that I know exactly what my priorities are going to be for the following day. And that actually gives me a sense of relaxation because I have crystal clarity on what I need to get done. Sometimes I watch TV, uh, especially This Is Us. That's my favorite network TV program. And also I'll watch Netflix. I really like comedies. I don't watch TV every night because I find it's difficult to just watch one or two episodes and I end up going down a black hole of consumption of TV. So I really try to limit it or just not watch at all during the week. 
And then I drink some water, but not too much water because then I wake up in the night or I can't fall asleep because I'm thinking about how I feel like I kind of have to go to the bathroom. So yeah, I try to limit the water and reserve that for during the day. Sometimes I'll drink tea, especially the kind that is said to help you relax and get ready for bed and that often does help me in these winter months to combat some of the anxiety that I experience. If there's a mess, any kind of a mess, I usually pick it up, clean it up. I don't always, but usually. Then I get ready for bed and at that point I tell myself I should put away all screens so that I will have no screens in front of my face at least one hour before I want to be asleep. I don't always succeed at this, but I really try, especially on the nights where I'm really, really determined to have it a relaxing evening to just put the screens away. Then I look at my vision board, and my vision board is new for 2019, and it lists all of my goals for this year and my broader goals. And I do this every day in the morning and in the evening before I go to sleep as a reminder of my priorities and my goals and what I deserve and what I want in this life. If you don't have a vision board, I strongly recommend that you create one. There are tons of videos on YouTube and other information on the internet to help you design your own vision board. Human beings are very visual people and there's something to be said for seeing pictures of what your goals are, what you want your life to be versus written form or just having it in your mind. And sometimes I use a moisturizing face mask and sometimes I don't. And then I brush my teeth and get into bed. And once I'm in bed, that's when I pick up my gratitude journal and I write at least five things that I feel grateful for in that moment, in that day. And they're generally pretty small and minuscule things in the bigger picture, but it's amazing what that can do for your mindset. And when you go back and you read all the things that you wrote, it doesn't take long, just a few seconds to jot a few things you're grateful for and it goes a long way. Then I pray and sometimes meditate. And if I don't feel tired or I feel worked up, I will read or take some melatonin, which is a natural supplement for sleeping. And that's it. That is a perfectly relaxing evening routine for me. I hope that you are well, that you are building the life that you want and deserve, that you are actively taking good care of you, your only job in life. And if you haven't subscribed to my newsletter, I highly recommend that you do by going to jodylam.com and signing up. I'm going to be releasing a new book, an ebook that I'm offering for free soon, and I want to make sure that you have access to that if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. Keep taking good care of you.